Jesus Christ, the God who saves and wants to be there for us. Yo, you guys are so important today. There's a God who loves you with his whole heart. Let's dive into today's Bible study and talk about anxiety. It says right here, do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your request to God. So why is the Bible talking about anxiety? Because God knows we're going to struggle with anxiety. But he's telling us right here to come to Jesus with prayer when we have anxiety and thanksgiving to still thank him because he's still good even though we have anxiety, okay? But we got to present our request to God. And again, it says it right here, the Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. People are like, oh, you know, God's not a good God. Look what he put me through. Oh, if God was good, he would do this for me. He would do that for me. He wouldn't let this happen. What have you done for God? Are you reading your Bible? Are you praying? Are you thanking him? Are you forgiving? Are you spreading the gospel? Are you doing these things that the Bible directs us to do? Like, are you honoring God or are you dishonoring God and just expecting him to do everything like, like he just owes you? God doesn't owe us. He already gave it all for us and he wants to give us even more love every day. Listen, God loves you. He has a plan for your life. If you're struggling with anxiety and stuff, cling to God, lean on him. The Bible says his strength is perfected in our weakness. So it's okay if we're weak sometimes. That's okay because we have a God who can save us. I love you guys so much. Have a wonderful day. Peace.